Hey there guys and welcome to a new solo play with me the Jukes. This time we're playing Let It Die. This game looks fucking amazing. I absolutely adore anything that Suda51 touches. He's an absolute genius. In all honesty, his games aren't for everybody. I know he kinda falls in that spectrum where he's like, he's like Marmite. You either love him or you hate him. And I love him. This time his company, Grasshopper Manufacture and Gung Ho have teamed up to make this game, Let It Die. It's basically, well, in all honesty, I don't actually know what it basically is. I followed it a, a good while back, and I was looking forward to it, and then, I don't know what happened, it just, it seemed to fall off the radar, or either I just completely forgot about it. it that, that could be a possibility. There is a lot of games that I try and play. Um, but basically, it's it's out now, it literally a surprise release. I've I seen a thing on Tweet, and I was, uh, a thing on Tweet? <laughs> I seen a tweet on a tweet on Twitter. That is very difficult to say. I seen something on Twitter, and I was like, "Oh fuck, that game's out." All right, okay. Um, well, I better be buying it. And then it turns out it's free to play. So I'm a wee bit skeptical now. Like, why is it free to play? Is there going to be a whole pay to win thing of that? I'm kind of worried about that. But regardless, let's just dive right into this and see what it is. This will hopefully be a wild ride. I mean, everything that Suda Fifty One has made is it crazy. They're over the top, insane, dark, sexy, everything, everything you could want in a game, it's amazing. Right, okay, so I want to be a dude. Um, oh, no, dude, yes. Um, oh, I'm just picking, oh, right, no, different guys, right. Slick hair, no hair, Jersey Shore, ha! <laughs> or that guy, who's he got? Uh, or Angry Asian, sleepy Asian, black guy, or white bald guy. Fuck it, man. I'm tempted as fuck to go Jersey Shore. <laughs> Hell yeah, Polly D it is. Come on, wake up, mate. Oh, fuck me. That, did that wake him up? Whoa, okay. <laughs> you alive now? Polly D. There we go, the name of the series. Polly D takes on the tower of whatever it was called. Go! <laughs> Swing up a title right there. Polly D's adv adventure. Polly D's mm. Miss Adventures. Yeah. <laughs> Aye, so, I don't know much about this game. I believe it's kind of like a roguelike, I think? From what I'm gathering, I mean, there's a lot of, well, a lot of dead guys, or possibly dead guys, on that train. Oh, fuck. Who's this? Oh, jeez. Oh my god! I, was waiting for you. I love him! This is your first time riding Line 15. Spanish huh? death! I know. It's not a very well known lie, huh. I admit. Anyway, this is the last stop. Oh my god. I'm a senpai. He's fucking amazing. Whoa, I'm just a naked buff dude, isn't I? Um Right, aye, so I uh, from what I've seen from when I followed it ages ago, it seemed to be kinda like a Dark Souls esque game. Um Oh sweet, he's following me! Um, aye, so a kind of Dark Souls-esque roguelike, I'd say. Well, I think it's a roguelike. I've, whoa, oh, okay, yeah. sorry. Here, take this. It's called an uh, underwater roller. What? And it's super. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. That's the thing. In all like Suda 51's games, it always seems to have like Spanish characters. My name. Yes, seems to love <laughs> having them. Is they're they're always <laughs> fucking <laughs> awesome. If you haven't ever played any other any Suda 51 games before, I highly recommend going back and playing some. Where we go, let's get. Oh, that, literally, my mind just went blank. You've got Lollipop Chainsaw. That was fucking awesome. Um, you've got. What's the one? Why well, can't I remember the name? Something to do with darkness? Possibly. I'll put it up here. <laughs> I don't. I can't actually remember it. My mind has literally just went blank. Um, oh, okay, that's, that's punch. I can see. Why is my heart appearing? Is that my stamina? My Oh, that's cool. You just get to watch your heart. I like that, that's good. Right, squares jump. Circles dive. It's kind of Dark Souls, eh? except it's L2 and R2 are your attack buttons, which is kind of strange. Uh, right, I don't know where I'm going. Am I meant to go? Nope, not this one. The style is kind of funky, like it. Is this a hologram? Oh, okay, I'm going in the dark place then. Um, I honestly, I'll put up like, a list of these games. Just please check out some of these work. His stuff, as I said, it is not for everybody. 
but <laughs> if you find that you like it, you're going to fucking love it. They are just awesome, awesome games. Now, I don't have a clue what I'm meant to be doing. Oh, am I meant to read this? Uncle Death! Oh my god, it's his name, Uncle Death. <laughs> Amazing! Um, Barb Bible? Why have I got nothing in it? Captain Yotsuma. Oh! Login bonus. Thanks for playing Let It Down. This is Captain Yotsuma. Your login bonus today has been set. Uh, I'm confused! My data mastery level? What, what is all this? Oh god, there's so much. So much to take in. Um. Right, mail. How do I get to my rewards section? I, I don't know. Please ho head over to your waiting room to pick it up. Where's my waiting room? Ah! Uh, what have I done? What am I doing? Right, fuck it. Um, my waiting room. Well, I came for the train, so obviously it's not there. This? Anything? Nope. Nope. Nothing. Was I just to go down the spooky place? I take it, yes. Oh, can't go that. It's express only. Welcome to the M. Ah! Oh, open then? No? Right, okay, I'm going to the spooky place and I take it. Oh shit, can you have like three weapons in each hand? Oh, that's kind of cool. For what I've seen as well, it's like kind of crazy weapons and crazy armor and stuff. Like, you just have like hand saws and drills and shit, like, kind of whatever you can find, so. I don't know, this, this seems pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> hey, Uncle Death. Just being radical as ever. Oh, okay. What's this? That's another, these games are very strange. Like, really weird, but I love weird. We, I'm weird, so of course weird appeals to me. Ikigara. They're very Japanese as well. Again, fucking love it. I, I love it. Oh, oh, he's talking to me through the pad. I'll put him up to the mic. There you go, guys. Um, what am I doing? What's this? A balloon. Balloon! Oh, right, here we go. Right, left hand attack. Aim, two handed gun. Right hand attack, jump. Uh, guard and dodge roll. What is guard? Circle, right, and then dodge. Interact, map display, dash while moving, crouch while still. Thanks for playing Let It Die on the Death Drive 128. Please read Barb's Bible thoroughly to aid you in your brutality. You can view it at any time in the Underworld Rolex. Rolodex. <laughs> I love that wee guy. Why is everybody naked? Well, semi naked. Right, so, what do you do? Where's the waiting room? Oh! Let's go. Your first enemy is up ahead. <laughs> oh shit. It's just like another guy. He's got a fucking pipe hammer thing. Oh shit, balls. <laughs> Take it. Take it. Take it, you dick. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Just punch him. Punch him dead. Get him dead. Uh. Whoa. Fucking hell, he just exploded. Um. Okay. Oh, no. I've got his hammer. Aye. It's my hammer, no, bitch. In it for you? No, you just died. You couldn't have beat him with your bare fist. You aren't a manly man like Polly D. Manly man! <laughs> right. Ooh, funny thing. Down for you Yes, it does. This is awesome. That, this is, so it is very Dark Soulsy. I don't know if it is a roguelike. I could be completely wrong in that. You might actually just be making progress. I do not get why it's free though. About equipment. Many pieces of equipment are featured in the game. Let's take a look at the few basic rules. Right, equipment types. Equipment includes weapons which be equipped on the right, left, or both hands, and three types of armor, head, upper body, and lower body. Durability. Every piece of equipment has durability, which decreases each time it's used. When the durability reaches zero, the equipment will break. Oh shit, so you don't just keep hitting. Death bags. What the hell is a death bag? About weapon quick change. <laughs> is a wee snake now? Ha. <laughs> right. 
fuck it. Well, let. You should be able to jump and shimmy up there somehow. <laughs> there you go. Jump. <laughs> Aha. Jump. I was hitting X here, to be fair, guys. Right, another note. This is a cool tutorial. Rage moves. In this game, you can leave rage move. Techniques which are stronger than regular attacks. If you use these effectively, you'll have an advantage in battle. The rage gauge. <laughs> Each time you deal damage to an enemy, your rage will build. This will increase your level until it reaches maximum. Activate. When rage gauge is full, hold triangle as you attack to unleash powerful rage move with your equipment. Ooh. My rage gauge is full. I think. Is it? Right. Do I want to be exploring these? Can I get shit in here? Literally, can I get shit in here? <laughs> oh! <laughs> they look suspicious, really. They've got fucking armor and shit! I'm still just in my boxers! Come on then. Come on then. Oh, shit. Ah! Why won't it. Oh! Rage! Yeah, bitch! Eat rage! That one's got a gun! Hey you! No man! No fear, you're getting rage! Oh shit, my weapon's going already! Get back, bitch! I'll punch the shit out of you! That's what I'm getting from a gun! Never bring a gun to a fist fight! Eh? Yeah. Did your mama never teach you anything? Probably she just get fucking muscles for days! Ooh! Sweet! Drill buddy! Hell yeah! I'm Dr. Drill! Dr. Drill, we'll see you now. Um, where else did I get? Oh sweet, some more armor. And some trucker pants. Yeah, look at me. I'm looking hot. Work it, baby, work it. Strut that stuff. Throw me to the back. And pull. Hell yeah. <laughs> Any weapons though? Just some armor. Oh well, I suppose I can just kill you with these awesome fists. Probably do the absolute tank. Let's go, Polly D. Let's wreck some fools and then fuck some bitches. Am I right? <laughs> eating, <laughs> eating mushrooms, alright. You'll encounter various types of mushrooms in this game. They have many uses, but here we'll explain their roles as food items. Eating growing mushrooms. When you draw close to a mushroom, you can consume it quickly by selecting the eat icon. Eating mushrooms in your bag. Mushroom effects. Blah 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 blah. So, mushrooms are the healing items, really? Does that mean this? <laughs> Eat mushrooms! Um. Yoga here. No, I'm putting it in my bag. I don't need it in there. I mean, I'm doing alright. I'm in it. Wait, I died. Oh, shit! <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> It did say yoga healing. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, this is what I mean by his games are fucking weird. They're so good though. What is this? Kick it. Whoa, a glinty magnum. Hell yeah. Put that in my left hand so that I... Oh, fuck me, it's huge. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Gear elements. Ah, uh, blah, 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 blah. Right, so it's just... This is surprisingly deep for a free game. I'm wondering when the paywall comes in. Because right now I ain't feeling it. What is that? Oh, more mushrooms. Um, put them in the bag. That's mere yoga ones. Sweet. I'll not waste them this time. Oh, so I've just noticed. I press, this is my left hand. Yet yeah, that goes in my right hand. Oh, because I can... Ah, right. Can I step up? Right, no, I can't punch when that's equipped. Ah, okay, that's an issue. Right, well, I don't need that equipped to know then. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, um, um, wanna give me some of those mushrooms? <clears throat> um, I don't know, you seem pretty weird. Do I want to give you mushrooms? What does this note say first? Throwing mushrooms. You'll encounter both mushrooms and beasts in this game. Let's look how to throw mushrooms. Mushroom, throw mode. Choose a mushroom you wish to throw by flicking the touchpad to select one. And click the left side of the touchpad button to switch to throw mode. In this mode, you can throw mushrooms by pressing X. Um, I'm, I'm flicking. Oh, there we go. There you go. Take them. 
Fucking hell, you hungry bitch. Oh! Okay. Oh. Oh god. You alright? What the fuck? <laughs> what just happened? Oh, I love the weirdness of this game. It's amazing. It's so fucking good. I was unsure about recording this, but you know what? I'm like, nope, this is amazing. Fucking love it. Gortastic attack. Oh, sweet. When you make an enemy groggy, that's when you can unleash a Gortastic Coupe de Grasse. These moves are so awesomely brutal that you might even want to cover your eyes. Make an enemy groggy. By unleashing a continuous barrage of attacks on the enemy, you can make them groggy. Of course, this can happen to your character as well, so take care. Using Gortastic. By approaching an enemy in a groggy state, holding triangle and pressing an attack button, a Gortastic... Sweet. Gortastic experience. Oh, excuse me. Right, onwards. I'm gonna go the fuck out of somebody. Okay, she might go the fuck out of me. <laughs> when are you gonna get killed? She's got a dangly nose that looks like a penis. Whoa! Come here, you. Oh! <laughs> Be curious. Fuck, shut up. Oh, fuck. Shake. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Give me. Just die. Just die. Oh, no, I'm gonna die. Oh, Jesus. Hi. Go oh, I thought that was a Gortastic attack. Where am I? Oh, there it is. Yeah, screw you. Oh, oh, what am I doing? Oh, <laughs> split him in half. That was awesome. That was fucking awesome. What was happening? What's happening? Oh. Uh oh. What? Oh, what the shit? How's that fucking fear? Oh! Fuck's sake! <laughs> A golf club. Uh, yeah, I'm dead. Wanna try again? Oh wait, let me put the title logo up real quick. You know how these things go. <laughs> <laughs> This is fucking awesome. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Yes. Die. <laughs> Fuck yes, this game's amazing. Oh, god damn it. God damn, this is fucking hilarious. I love it. I love it. Right, so that looks like that's the tutorial done then. So this is me getting to jump into the real game, I assume. Maybe. Thank you for listening to this voice oh, guidance cutscene. system. Let us embark on a journey of discovery about the many wonders ah, the of the Tower of Barbs. That's what it's called. The Tower of Barb is located on the tiny 3.7 square mile island on the tiny, of South Tokyo. Tiny little island. Legend has it that this island was formed during the Earth Rage tectonic disturbance of 2026. Story here, guys. The tower stands at 1686 feet, the equivalent of a 30 story building with super high ceilings. Damn. Many say that the tower is actually growing with each passing year. But it's a building. Legend has it that a great treasure lies at the top of the tower. As such, many brave people often attempt to climb the tower to obtain those riches. I take it that was me. However, none have managed to survive the tower's horrific trials. And thus, the tower stands as a grim reminder of the many lives lost in search of this mythical treasure. Ah. I hope that you too will enjoy your climb. Well, I was until I get fucking shot in the heart. The many wonders that it has to offer. Seems a bit unfair. Oh, <laughs> I was actually sitting watching that, was I? Is this my waiting room then? 
Ah, it's really, it's really I don't even know what's up before. You seem sleepy, so I turned it off. Huh? I'm talking about the Death Drive 128, of course, man. You were just playing it, remember? <laughs> what? Hey, pretty cool, huh? Pretty badass. Oh, shit, it's a game within a game. <laughs> it's the best game console ever. And this game, let it die. Huh. It's probably the greatest game ever made. <laughs> <laughs> the goal of the game is pretty simple. Just make it to the top of the Tower of Barbs. This is fucking cool. It's like a hack and slash roguelike kind of a thing. Oh, well, there you go, that's right. Hack and slash roguelike hey, kind dude, of thing. You're a gamer, aren't you? Yeah. Then you'll totally be fine. Just try it out. <laughs> Alright, death. I'll set it up for you. <laughs> I fucking love this guy. Okay, all ready to go? Let's get started. Okay. So wait, this this one's just a guy by the looks of it, because he's got gloves on, you can see that he's black game. neck, he's and it's just a mask, I assume. Fuck's that, there's a wee bug. Oh wait, shit. Whoa, that's the console. <laughs> this is fucking awesome. It's just firing everything at me. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> oh my god, I fucking love this. Oh! Whoa, it's, oh, it's, oh, it seems a bit broken. Uh, things are happening. What's happening? Well, you know what, before I start my next one, I think I'll end it here. This is going to be an awesome game, I think. That tutorial alone was really, really fun. So, if you enjoyed that, please be sure to smash that like button, and please do subscribe, guys. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Hey, I'm looking hot. Work it, baby, work it. Strut that stuff. Show me to the back. And pull.